WrestleManiac, aka Blu ray Maniac, Lamborghini. We are back with another Blu ray collection update. We're sitting at close to 50, 40 plus. Um, I'm filming this right after I filmed my Outskin Aboutski. Um, of course, you're seeing it a couple of days later. But I wanted to go ahead and film this um, because I got to go back to work for the next three, four days and I wouldn't be able to film it. So we're going to go ahead and get this knocked out. We've got a lot of great goodies to show you. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say thanks to each and every one of y'all that have checked out the videos, any of the videos. If you've subscribed, we're coming up to 4,200 subs. Thank you so much for that. And also, of course, y'all be sure to uh, subscribe to the homies, the Blue Limit Soldiers, my homies below. You got Visual Expression, Blu-ray Outlaw, Friday the 14th, and Blu-ray Dan, baby. Blue-dee-blue! -blue! That's the call for the collectors! All righty. Let me get a little swiggity dude all wild. I got so much shit to show y'all. Need some back. <sighs> All right, so we'll just go ahead and show you the new release stuff um, over the last couple of weeks. Well, newer release, I guess. Of course, I had to get the Deadpool um, Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Um, we're going to go ahead and crack this open for you. I've already got the code sold, actually. So, um, just got to send that over to the person that's already bought it, but um, we'll go ahead and crack it open for you. Um, really enjoy the still, but like the still book's cool looking. I know the interior artwork is awesome. I've already seen what it looks like. Um, and never seen the movie, but, um, of course you've got that and you got the little, I don't know what they call it, the J card or whatever. With the little sticky stuff on it. And there's the front there. And there's the back. And there's the spine. Now I noticed that Deadpool is going up like differently than some of the, like the, it's going up a different way. But you crack that bad boy open. Oh, looks like we've got a, uh, what a lame. God, it's so cheap, man. So it's the Blu ray, right? It's the Blu ray. The DVD is just in this thing that's attached, which, why even, whatever. And there's that awesome artwork in the inside there. Really look forward to checking this out. Um, super excited about it. Really cool still book. And that is Deadpool. Um, I, I just don't understand why. Why they get cheap like that? Like, if you're going to include the DVD, at least include the disc spot for it. Like, don't put it in a cardboard case. Like, I, I could care less about the DVDs, honestly. But if you're going to use them, I mean, just don't give it the redheaded stepchild treatment. You know what I'm talking about? I always put my J cards in here. So hopefully y'all were able to pick up the Deadpool Steelbook as well. I know some places were shorthanded on them. So, yeah, there's Deadpool. Alrighty, next up, we have another still book, and that is the WrestleMania 32 still book, or WrestleMania 2016, as they've got it listed on the spine. Um, really glad WWE is doing some kind of still book thing. It's kind of a random thing, but it's just giving a reason for people to to purchase them, you know, for collectors, because it's really hard selling WWE Blu-rays now. Um, and I picked up the, Dud the Dudley Boys one too, which I'll show y'all in a minute. But uh, there's the J card, cool artwork on the back there. Of course, you got nine hours worth of stuff on here. You've got the Hall of Fame induction, which is probably three hours. Um, and then you're going to have some bonus features as well. And you open it up. Well, first of all, let's see. There's the front. It's pretty simple, but at the same time, it's still it's still cool. And then you open it up there. That's how it looks. And then you open the that, and it's got towards the WrestleMania logo on the back, discard and all that. So really cool looking. I'm I'm ex I'm excited about it. Um. So yeah, Blu-ray exclusive is fighting for a legacy. I don't know what that is. If it's a it's a documentary or something, but 
Glad to have picked that up, and I'm really looking forward to the Scott Hall and the Eric Bischoff documentaries that are going to come with Steelbooks as well. So that's WrestleMania 32. And continuing on with the wrestling stuff over the last couple of weeks, I picked up the Dudley Boys, straight out of Dudleyville Steelbook as well, um, which the documentary on this is good, about an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, but it, it covered everything it needed to cover it to me. Um, you got that awesome artwork there, and then there's the back. And then you crack it open, and then you got, of course, you got Devon and Bubba on each one of the discs with the camo background. So, good stuff. Got a lot of good matches on it. Eight, you know, eight and a half, nine hours worth of stuff. So, really look forward to checking all those matches out again. I love the Dudley Boys. And then, of course, I had to pick up, you know, I love these match comps. I picked up the United States Championship, A Legacy of Greatness. I think it's kind of lame that they got John Cena right there in the very front, but I see why they did that. Of course, you got JBL hosting it. And then there's the disc art. A lot of good matches on here. And the Blu-ray exclusives are always where it's at, too. So, lucky, glad to have that. And then I finally picked this up. It's been a, it's been out for about a month or two. But it's NXT, Greatest Matches, Volume 1. Really, really enjoying this. And I haven't really been up on NXT like a lot of people. But I really enjoyed this, this compilation. A lot of good matches on there and the cool disc art. And then you got several bonus matches on it as well. That's the NXT Greatest Matches Volume 1. And, of course, I picked up The Boy, which, again, there's a there's a Scream Factory release of The Boy. different, Completely different movie. It's more along the lines of, like, Good Son. It's got Rain Wilson in it. It's produced by um, Elijah Wood. Um, he's one of the, well, I guess he's got a movie company now, film company. Um, but this one I haven't seen. This has got the chick that plays Maggie from Walking Dead. In it, and Outlaw's been talking about how good it is. And um, it's another one of those PG-13 horror films, but I've heard good things about it. Good things about this and The Witch that's coming out. I think next week I'll be picking that up as well. Um, of course, you know, there's the awesome slip with the embossed the letters of the boy. And then, of course, you open it up. It's just the same. Nothing special on these, you know. Just standard Blu-ray. I got the code sold for that as well. So look forward to checking that out. And that is The Boy. I really enjoy doing these updates on this because I can take my time. I don't have to worry about, you know, how long the videos are and all that. So, um, continuing on, we've got Krampus, which I really enjoyed. Watch this as, uh, with the fellas on a Google Hangout one night. Absolutely love it. I watched it twice. I watched it by myself, then I watched it again with the fellas. And I, I must say, it's great. It's going to be definitely in the Christmas rotation christmas halloween rotation that awesome slip cover with the krampus being embossed and um or ball i don't know what that shit means i just try to sound cool and of course the same art there and then you've got you know the disc art there but i really enjoyed it um got david kirshner in it you got adam scott in it um got a, it kind of reminds me of like gremlins or dolls uh, but it's really cool really enjoy this movie that's krampus and then best buy was doing a 12.99 sale on a lot of blu-rays that are been out for a couple of weeks. And I haven't watched this one yet, but I went ahead and picked it up. And that's Sisters, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. Big fan of both of these girls. And uh heard this is just really funny. Um, I'm going to get around to checking it out soon. Of course, you know, it's got a cool slip cover and all that. So that is Sisters. Oh, so much. Now we're going to go into the Scream Factories. Um, you know, that's, that's a huge, that's the main focus for my collection. Um, but before that, I got two Arrow video titles I want to show you. This one I'm super hyped about. And this is Bride of Reanimator. Now, this one has turned out to be super expensive now. I got this on GoHastings.com for like $30 with shipping and tax and everything. Um, and it is a beast of a set. Now, I'm not a big fan of Go Hastings because of a couple of things. Now, this is awesome. Look, you, you got this awesome artwork. Look how big of a set this is. You open it up. It comes with this amazing, like, huge book. Just look how many pages is in that book. It's awesome. Super cool. Look forward to checking that out. Um, so, yeah, I got that. And then, but this is what I can't stand. See that crease right there in that? That's, that's Go Hastings shipping for you. But, oh, well, I just turned it the other way. You open it up, and it's got that awesome artwork and everything just really look forward to checking this out i'm going to do a movie night for this um i've just got to get around to watching reanimator which i picked up 
So really, really glad to check this out. Y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all thought of this. That is the Bride of Reanimator. It's a monster set from Arrow Video. And the one other Arrow Video title I picked up is one that I haven't watched yet. I picked it up on our epic collaboration video at uh, McKay's for $12. And that is Pit Stop. This isn't a horror film. This is, I think it's like an action movie, thriller. Um, it's from 1968 or 69. It's about cars. Um, it's about drag racing, I think. Um, and it's got your boy Sid Hagen and a young Sid Hague. So 12 bucks, I figured I could try it. If I don't like it, I could always sell it and make more than I spent on it. So I look, I'm sure I'll enjoy it. And that's Pit Stop. All righty. And next up. We're going to go to our Scream Factories with slip covers. We've got five of them. And we've got Stung, which I watched yesterday. And may I say it was amazingly cheesetastic. Um, just directed well. The, the, the dialogue was good between the actors. And it's just fun. It's just about these huge wasp, bumblebee deals. And they're just wrecking havoc. When they sting somebody, it basically turns that person into a huge insect. So. It was really ridiculous, but it was really fun. Really, really enjoyed this one. Um, got some special features. Got commentary and making of documentary and stuff like that. So definitely recommend this. Of course, you got that alternate artwork as well. The Screen Factory always does so great. That is Stung. Uh. Next up, we have one that I own. But I just owned the regular one. I didn't, I didn't have the slip. So I took a chance with all the good luck I've been having with Best Buy.com. I bought it off Best Buy.com to see if it would come with the slip. If it didn't, I was just going to return it. And if it did, I was going to sell my other one to, to Tony. So it came with the slip, and that is The Burning, which is awesome. Love, love, love this movie. Such a great movie. 1981 slasher film. Um, just absolutely amazing movie. Got a young George Costanza in there and Jason Alexander. Um, it comes with commentary from the director, um, Blood and Fire Memories. Not a lot of features, but absolutely great movie. Great, fun, 80s cheese fest. That is The Burning. And Tony ended up ordering The Burning off Best Buy.com, got the slip, and I just sold him mine for 10 bucks, and he returned his other one. So he was able to get a slip as well. So shout out to you, Tony. Um, next up, we got one that I picked up at Hastings, and that is The Harvest. Haven't watched this yet. This has got Michael Shannon and Samantha Morton in it. Uh, Outlaw said this is a really creepy movie, really messed up film, so I'm looking forward to it. Of course, you got the alternate artwork there. Um, don't know if this comes with any special features. Doesn't look like it does, but that's fine. Look forward to checking it out. That is The Harvest. Alrighty. Sorry. Okay. Next up is one that I haven't checked out yet. Another one I got off Best Buy.com with the slip. That is Cat People. Heard this is like an erotic horror movie, thriller. I don't know how much I'm going to like this, but I definitely wanted to get it because I'm trying to get all the Screen Factories. And I heard this is another one that's going to be going out of print soon, and the slip cover on it is rare. So pick that up. You got interviews with the writer-director um, and actors. You got theatrical trailer. This is from 1982. So look forward to checking that out as well. Like I said, I've heard mixed things about it, but it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I definitely wanted to pick it up. And that is Cat People. Next is one that came came out a few, few weeks ago, and that is Death Becomes Her. I didn't pre-order this one on Screen Factor. I just pre-ordered it from Best Buy. And uh, I've always loved this movie growing up. You got Bruce Willis, Meryl Streep, and Goldie Hawn. Just a ridiculous movie. Robert Zemeckis directed it. Same guy that brought you back to the future. Um, and this has got a making of Death Becomes Her featuring interviews with the director, Zemeckis, um, the writer, a couple of, you know, the production designer, stuff like that. Then you got the vintage making of featurette on it. You got that alternate artwork. Haven't checked it out yet again, but I mean, I've seen it several times, but I haven't watched the Screen Factory one yet, but that's Death Becomes Her. And next up after that is one I just picked up on my Outski and Abowski from CD Warehouse, and that is uh, Alien Outpost. Got this for eight ninety nine. Um, again, it's an IFC Midnight collabo. There's a slightly alternate artwork there. Look forward to checking that out. It's like a, it takes place in the future. It's about alien invasion, I think. So that'll be fun. And next up, we've got one that I I must say 
I was expecting some great cheese. I was expecting some boobies. I was expecting some great over-the-top violence. And it just didn't really deliver. But it, it is what it is. That's Shark and Saw Women's Prison Massacre. Now, I bought this for $8. I knew it was going to be terrible. But I thought it was at least going to be like Sharknado type. And it wasn't at all. It has all these like good-looking chicks in it. None of them get naked. Um, it, it, it teaches you like they are, which, I mean, that's not a big deal, but it doesn't even really show sharks like that. It doesn't really show any kind of kills. I don't know. It could have been way better. I think they could have done a lot better job with it as far as the acting's bad, but I knew that was coming. I was just hoping for a lot of gore and I just didn't get it with this, but you know, it is what it is. It was only eight bucks and it's still part of the screen factory line. So that's the shark and saw women's prison massacre. And last but not least on the Scream Factories this, this time, we've got The Stranger. I'm going to need the slip cover for this one, so I'm going to be on the lookout for that. I didn't know it came with a slip, but that is Eli Roth Presents. Um, I think he's a, he's a producer. He didn't direct it. Like a vampire film. Um, again, it's an IFC Midnight collabo with Scream Factory. We've got a featurette, Welcome to Chillwood. Chillywood. Um, short film, The Fourth Horseman. Um, so that'll be cool. Look forward to checking that out. That is The Stranger. I got this from Hastings. And moving right along, we're going to show you the rest of my horror movies that I picked up this time. There's still several of those. Um, now, this one I'm super excited about. Now, this one goes for over $100 on, on eBay. And it's one that I just figured I would never be able to get because I would never be able to pay that much for it. Well, Outlaw had been wanting the Evil Dead remake still book, Target exclusive, for a long time. And it's another one that's going for 50 60 70 bucks on eBay. So... We was on the stream one night, and he was like, man, we brought it up. I was like, you want to do a trade? And um, so I gave him my Psycho still book because uh, his was all dinged up. I gave him uh, the Evil Dead remake still book, and he gave me this, and that is Dead Alive. Um, one of the most, one of the, the goriest movie I've ever seen in my life. Just so over-the-top ridiculous cheese, just over-the-top gore. But it's so much fun. From 1992, Peter Jackson film, believe it or not. Um, and uh, this is just as ridiculous as it gets. I mean, the gore is just nonstop, the whole movie. There's one scene at the end with a lawnmower and about 50 zombies, and it's so ridiculous. Some of it's cringeworthy, like some of the gore is, but that's so much fun. And Outlaw, thanks again, homie, for the trade. You really hooked a brother up. I'd never been able to get this otherwise. I'd never spent that much on it. So I'm glad we was able to trade off some stuff that you needed, and it worked out well for us. That is Dead Alive, everybody. Next up is one that went on a, a sale, and, and uh, Tony, my boy Tony, Friday the 14th, had told me about it. And um, Tony and Outlaw, I think both were telling me about it on one of the streams. Um, it's, it was $19.99 for like two days. So as soon as they told me, I got on there, and I had some PayPal money and bought it. And that is John Carpenter's Vampires. And this is Twilight Time release. Um, haven't seen this. I'm waiting for my buddy Skeggs to come over to the crib. We're going to watch it because he's a huge Carpenter fan. I told him I just wait till he comes over and we can watch it. Um, he loves it. Said it was awesome. Uh, heard nothing but good things about it. And you got a you got an audio commentary with uh, John Carpenter, which is going to be awesome. You got the making of Vampires. And then, of course, Twilight Time kind of skimps on the features and the and the stuff, but they got cool artwork and they got that small little book too. So to get this for twenty dollars, twenty two dollars with tax was amazing. Um, and that is Vampires Twilight Time release. And these are just random horror titles from where I traded that Evil Dead remake still book to Outlaw. I needed a copy of Evil Dead remake, so I picked it up at Hastings. It was brand new for ten bucks. I sold the code for two, so um, just a great remake. And then also, um, I need. I got this from Outlaw too, The Shining. I think he was getting this. He got the still book or something of it. So glad to add that to the collection. Good Kubrick classic there with Jack Nicholson. Um, picked this up at the pawn shop on our trip out and about. Scenic route, three bucks. Really enjoy that one. Messed up movie. Um, got this one at uh, Great Escape for five dollars, and it was awesome. That is the children. Now I've heard nothing about this movie. I didn't even know this movie existed. And I watched it, and it was it was terrifying. Like it it was messed up, shot really well. I really recommend this. You can get it cheap, I'm sure, online. Definitely give it a go around. It may be on Netflix. I don't know. That is the children. This is a ghost house 
uh, underground release. Then we had one that came out last week straight to Blu-ray from Dark Sky Films, and it is Emily. Watched it last night. It was really good. Really messed up. Basically, it's about this girl that kills, goes around and, and kills babysitters and acts as the babysitter, or, you know, a replacement babysitter, whatever, whatever, and just torments the families and all that stuff. It was really, really creepy. Really creepy, messed up film, but I really enjoyed it. And it's only 10 bucks right now at Best Buy. I'd definitely give it a check. We'll give it a look. And then these, this one I picked up at Only Outskin Abowski. Never seen this movie. And with 10 Cloverfield Lane coming to blue pretty soon, I want to go ahead and grab this. That is Cloverfield. $5.99. Figured I'd give it a check, uh, give it a check out there. Um, heard the, the shaky cam is, is, is na nauseating, but we'll see. And then last but not least on the horror films, I had Pet, uh, Pet Cemetery. Had this a couple of years back. Gave it to a buddy of mine a few years back because he loved it. Um, another one I knew I could just get again. Five ninety nine, um, Stephen King classic there. Alrighty, and continuing on from there, we've just got stuff that isn't horror. Picked this up in the four ninety nine section at Best Buy, and that is Mobsters with Christian Slater, um, Patrick Dempsey, Richard Grieco. Love gangster movies for five bucks. This is the first time I'd even seen it on Blu ray anywhere. So. And then this one I got at Hastings for $7.99, just to add to, Carp uh, to the Carpenter collection. You got Escape from L.A. Heard it was bad. Um, a lot of people don't like it. They say it's basically a remake of Escape from New York, but I wanted to check it out for 7 bucks. It was definitely worth it. And this was $3 used. Again, trying to complete the Van Damme collection. And this is one of his worst ones. Uh, Raul Julia and Jean-Claude Van Damme and Street Fighter. So it was three ninety nine, and then I had like a no, yeah, it was three ninety nine, yeah. So had to get that one. And then at the pawn shop when we're out and about, I picked up Days uh, Days of Thunder. It was three bucks, definitely worth that. Classic Tom Cruise there. And then uh, Tony, um, where he bought the burning for me, he just did a trade basically. I, I said I gave him the burning Scream Factory, and he gave me these three blues, Masters of the Universe with Dolph Lundgren. I've never seen it, but I've just heard amazing cheese about this. So. Can't wait to check that out. And he picked up that It Man Trilogy still book, so he threw these in for me in the in the trade, and that was It Man 1 and It Man 2 um, with Donnie Yen. You know, heard great things about him. So I look forward to checking that out. Appreciate it Friday the 14th. And me and Jordan just did a small trade. Uh, basically, when I got Sisters, he was like, uh, man, let me get that code. And, uh, he got a couple of Screen Factory posters when he pre-orders them. I mean, he don't like he don't really keep them a lot of the times. Well, from where he, he sold me the Shocker Blu-ray a few months back, he had that poster. So he gave me that Shocker poster, which I'm super hyped about that. Um, and then he also gave me this because he pre-ordered it with Screen Factory. It comes out on the 19th, I believe. And that is Manhunter. Super awesome. So now I'm just going to pre-order it from BestBuy.com now that I've got the poster. So... Again, thanks, Viz, for that, man. You were the man. Y'all subscribe to the Viz as well if you hadn't already. Now we're going to get to the DVDs. There's a, there's a good amount of DVDs in here. Most of them are TV shows, but we'll get right into it. Um, on our Out and About, I picked up Ghosts in the Darkness. Michael Douglas, Val Kilmer. Never seen it, but they said it was awesome. So, um, And it doesn't have a Blu-ray release yet, so I picked that up. It was like $3 used at Hastings. Picked this up at McKay's for $3. Classic. Cop and a half. Look at that ridiculous. Look at that mustache on Burt Reynolds right there. Woo! Classic. Um, oh, my God. It just gets better. Chuck Norris and Top Dog. Look at that. Look how terrible. Trying to get the Chuck Norris collection together. And this was this was basically free because they said the Blu-rays were 4 bucks a piece. And this was $2. So I was like, okay, I got $10 worth of stuff. I'm done. I go up there, and she says it's only 8 bucks. So I didn't pay for this or something happened. I guess she saw it, she felt so bad that I even wanted it that she just gave it to me. Um, so yeah, and that's Top Dog. And then we're we're gonna start watching these on the uh, on the Hangouts Google Hangouts, and that is the Critters movie. This is the four pack. Got this on Best Buy dot com for like eight bucks. You got Critters, Critters Two, the main course, Critters Three, You Are What You Eat, and Critters Four. It looks like they're in space. And Leonardo DiCaprio made his film debut in Critters Three. Fun fact there. So, uh, 
So yeah, there's that. Now, from where my buddy Clint from Arrow Video sends me like the screener disc for Arrow titles, this is actually a MVD uh, visual distribution release, and it's some horror movie I've never seen. It. It's called Sheepskin. Um, he just sent it to me for free. Just said, you know, check it out. Um, I don't, I'm guessing it's a werewolf movie. It looks like it's a, you know, like it's an independent release from 2013. So I'll definitely check that out soon. Appreciate it, Clint, for that. And then I picked this cheese fest up, and I absolutely loved it. I'm a huge fan of Sharknado and stuff, ridiculous stuff like that. And this is called Lava Lantula. Now, this is starring Steve Gutenberg, for one. Mahoney from Police Academy. You've also got a small appearance from Leslie Easterbrook, who was in Police Academy. And y'all know how big of a fan of Police Academy I am. I mean, for God's sakes, I've got the entire collection that I watch all the time. At least the first five. Um, but anyways, you've also got Michael Winslow, who was Jones from Police Academy. And you've got Marion Ramsey, who was Luke, uh, was Hooks from Police Academy. So four of the Police Academy characters are in this movie. Um, and it's so ridiculous. It's about an earthquake volcano that spawned these huge tarantulas that spit lava. It's ridiculous. It makes no sense. It's And you also got Hamilton Porter from Sandlot in this. <coughs> Amazing. Only $8 on BestBuy.com. I hope they make a sequel. It was so ridiculous, but I had so much fun watching it, and that is La Valencia. <coughs> Sorry. And rounding out the collection update, when we were at Hastings, they had this huge dump bin of Mill Creek TV seasons. And I used to have all these on the reg <coughs> excuse me on the regular TV se uh, seasons back in the day. And when I, when they announced that it was coming to Netflix, I sold my DVDs because I was like, well, it'll be on Netflix. So it comes on Netflix and turns out it's just a collection of like 25 of the best episodes. So I was like, oh, man. So I told myself when I find the Mill Creek release is cheap, I'm going to scoop them up. And that was the Roseanne se se uh, show. You've got Roseanne season one. Roseanne season two. I just love these shows. This is one of my favorite shows. This, Home Improvement, um, which I've got to set up there. Um, Seinfeld, which Seinfeld's on Hulu. Hopefully it'll get a blue release soon. Um, there's Roseanne Season 3. Excuse me. Season 4. And these are only five bucks a piece. Season 5. Season 6. Season seven, and last but not least, you got Roseanne season eight. And you're and you're probably saying to yourself, "Well, it was nine seasons, Chad." I don't count the last season. I hated the last season. It's the season when they won the lottery, and Dan's not in any of them, and I just wasn't a fan of it. Now I like the I, I did like the the finale, the way they ended it, but I just wasn't really into picking up season nine because I know I would never watch it. So. That's everything. Um, 40 plus pickups. It's ridiculous, I know. Um, hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, y'all be sure to check out the Outski and Abowski, episode 20 with the, with the huge collabo with my partners. Um, also the Outski and Abowski, episode 21 that I just uploaded. Um, on my st 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 still book uh, hunt for Deadpool. And y'all be sure to comment below. Let me know what you think of the stuff I picked up. Let me know about some other horror movies I should pick up if I don't already have them. Um, I love each and every one of y'all. Love, peace, and mother effing hair grease, baby. Woo!